This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at closed captions in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this excerpt, I want to give you a basic understanding of what captions are. There's three terms that I want to define. Closed captions, open captions, and subtitles. Closed captions are textual information that is embedded into the video signal but not displayed by default. The opposite of closed captions are open captions, which are textual information that is burned into the video and cannot be undisplayed. Think of these as opening titles or text supers. Subtitles are similar to open captions, but generally referred to DVDs or Blu-ray discs. This is a separate file, which is embedded into the video stream by the disc player. While DVD subtitles and open and closed captions may have the same textual information, the files are not formatted the same, so you need to think of DVD subtitles as being different from closed captions. There are a variety of closed caption formats. The four most popular are .scc, .srt, .mcc, and .xml. SCC is the preferred legacy format for closed captions because most caption software supports it. DVD subtitles can also support SCC captions. SRT is the format most often used for subtitles and open captions because they have more format options than SCC. YouTube also supports SRT captions. MCC is a format invented by Mac Caption, which is now owned by Telestream. It's preferred for digital broadcast, both cable and OTT. XML is a format that captions are moving to because there's more capability with an XML format. However, not all tools currently support this format. Premiere supports all four. There are many things you need to know about captions. The first is that captions can support multiple languages. Each language usually starts as a separate file. Captions must be spelled correctly. A spelling mistake subjects broadcasters to FCC fines, so accuracy is extremely important. Captions are always off by default and must be turned on by the viewer and the project panel in Premiere can show which caption formats are contained in a video clip. Because there are two standards and broadcasters are required to transmit both, there's CEA 608 and CEA 708. 608 is used for analog video and can contain both upper and lower case text. 708 is used for digital video and also can contain upper and lower case text, though in the case of live captions, those tend to be done uppercase. 608 captions are permanently embedded in line 21 of the video signal, while 708 format is stored differently. With both these formats, you have only 32 or 42 columns of letters, 32 for a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, 42 for a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and both formats are only 15 rows high. The fonts are monospaced, and characters in excess of 32 or 42 just get dropped. Line 21 can only hold two characters per field. That means that characters get stored in a buffer until they're ready to display, which means that captions must start buffering before they can be displayed. You cannot start captions on frame one of a project. There isn't enough room to buffer whatever characters you're displaying. Another thing which will become obvious as we go through this, and I don't have a special slide for it, but just to let you know, caption formatting is extremely limited. So don't expect captions to look wonderful. They're not designed to look wonderful. They're designed to look readable. Here's a typical SCC file. An SCC file contains time code references, the left-hand column, along with the values of the characters, their position, and control codes stored in hexadecimal format in the columns to the right. Each of those four numbers on the right is a pair of letters, and remember there are two characters stored per field or frame. So this is an SCC file. 
This is an SRT file. An SRT file contains timecode references, but in a different layout, along with the text of the caption, but this time in readable form, not in hexadecimal. Now remember, captions can only contain 32 or 42 characters per line, and any characters over this limit are dropped, and there are no exceptions. Both SCC and SRT files are text files. Both can be displayed inside text edit or any text editor. But the format of the text files are totally different. So let's see how captions work inside Premiere. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at closed captions inside Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 201. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership.